Hey, Ben, we're back again. Friday, yay! Friday, Ben. Hey, is it Friday? You had a steak today, didn't you? Or a shank. Now, go play in the dirt. <laughs> yes, Friday, and I think it's the 21st of August, 2015. I'm your host, Chris Collier, and you've entered into a beer video. I don't really call them reviews, more like it's a beer video, where I get to talk about beer and anything else I feel is important. And usually I open up uh, packages, but I don't have any again today. I must uh, order some more junk on the Chinese delivery things for some more junk to show you guys. <laughs> so, the beer we have today is in the cooler there. It's called the Lone Wolf Brewing Company. And it's a robust porter, 22 fluid ounces, 6.5% alcohol per volume. And it is from the Lone Wolf Brewing Company, Inc., Wolfboro, New Hampshire. So I'll show you the, oh, if you can see that. Porter's, Porter's, I, I don't know, Porter's almost a stout, but not quite a stout. I don't know if you can say that, if you're, if you're even allowed to say that. It says, the light tan head of this rich dark ale boasts a bouquet of black coffee and dark chocolate aromas. Yeah, I know. The coinciding flavor gives way to a velvety smooth body and complex lingering finish. You can linger on my finger, Mrs. Murphy. Uh, may cause health problems, birth defects. Oh, Jesus. Who cares about that, eh? So let's try to get it open here. Got my opener here, my little doohickey. It's not a doohickey, but it's the same thing. Right, we have ejaculation. There's a couple of beers that done that to me now. Well, maybe I'll just keep on pouring. I'll forego the smelling of the beer bottle. Well, they were right. It's got uh, tan foam. I don't have enough hands. Oh, well, there she blows. Jeez, I'm making a mess here. <laughs> I wanted to put it in this one. There, keep it a little cool anyway. And Ben will, uh, are you gonna drink up that beer, Ben? Here, look, some of my arm. Right there. No, you're, you're hogging the whole show, Ben. You're ruining everything. So, nice head. Let's see if I can look. Yeah, blocks out the sun. I'm using my Codfather Newfie Mafia beer mug today. Give me a, a guy over in Nova Scotia two years ago or three years ago at Keith's party. Mm. You can smell the malt. And there's coffee and chocolate flavors coming out of it. I was going to say more chocolate than coffee, or more coffee than chocolate, but I think I'll agree to disagree with myself and say it's equal. equal. So let's go for a swallow. Wow, coffee for sure. Malt, coffee and malt and chocolate in the background. Not too much though. Coffee is the most thing I taste. It's good beer. I don't know if one of you will be out in the sun doing it, but it's good beer. The only thing I really got to show you today is this 
piece of rubber thing here. I don't know if it focused, but it's got an H here, and then an arrow pointing up, and an up. So up, beep. Turn it around, it's got another H. Another arrow going up, and then UP here, up. I kind of, I kind of thought it was like a, a hanger of some sort. Like my Volkswagen had a hanger like this for the muffler. There was a spike coming off the muffler, muffler, and it would fit through there, and then this would be attached to the frame. So it has some movement, but then again, I don't know what it is. Is this something electrical or or what? Excuse me. And I found this just in, in the woods over there. Excuse me. Just laying out in the open. It wasn't half buried or anything. It was just laying there, just as pretty as could be, with a bit of dead grass in it. So, do you have any idea what this could be? I think it's some kind of a hanger, stringer thing. I have to see what I can do with it, though. <laughs> Cheers and bears. Great coffee taste. Yeah. Another hot day here in PEI. Hot for PEI anyway. I think it's up close to 28 or 29 maybe. Maybe even 30. There's a wind today which is good. It's from the south so it's warm. But it's, uh, it's at least a little bit cooling. And I'm here underneath the old birch tree. In front of the garage. And there's my house over there. I just see a place in my tree where a little bit of chaga is starting to grow. Very, 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 very little bit. That's that black fungus. You know all about that, right? Yeah. So it's Friday. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I feel sorry for guys that uh, work all week and then have to get a weekend off full of rain. Yeah. Oh well. It's not forcing me back to work or anything like that. I got a new Blue Cross mail, uh, card in the mail. I'm not too sure whether it replaces the old one with all the A's and B's and numbers or what it is. I'll have to uh, take a look at the uh, paperwork that was involved with it and see if that is it. Same with uh, Revenue Tax. It sent me a thing that I could pay my taxes in two uh, allotments this year and it'd be like uh, 19. 1900 by the end of August, and then 1900 again at December. And uh, I have to look up on the internet to see what that means. They're taking my review. 3800 was what I paid last year, so I don't want to pay it again this year unless, uh, of course, I have to pay more than 38, which I did get that little bit of a money from them, I think. That was taxed, so. And not, not money taken out. Anyway, I'm rambling, but anyway. we got to do some more research. Get up on the old computer. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I went fishing yesterday, too, down by the wharf. Went by the breakwater. Breakwater's on the left. of the, If you're looking at the sea, it's on the left of Surrey Harbor, and it goes way out. And it's just a big thing that keeps the big waves from splashing in the harbor. Hence the name, breakwater. I went out there with a lure that's supposed to be really good for mackerel and I cast it about, well, for about 25 minutes and never had a, never had a strike at all. So I went in closer, there's an ice house there that the fishermen get their ice from. I parked next to that and I uh, cast some more with this lure, never got a thing. So I decided to uh, put a hook and sinker on there. Get out and vote. Anyway, uh, and uh, I caught this wee little fish about this big. I'll put a picture on this afterwards, but it's only about this big, eh? So I was happy that I caught a fish and be unhappy that it was too small to take home and eat. And, uh, and then uh, I cast out a few more times, got a couple of bites, but nothing. And then uh, there was a part on my reel that was getting loose. The screw was loose. So I was standing on the on the the pavement there and it's about six feet down to the water, if that. So my 
line and the, and the, the hook with the piece of fish on it for bait was in the water while I was trying to struggle with this little thing here for a, a place that I could screw this screw the bolt or screw tighter and I ended up having to take out my Swiss Army knife and then uh, I kind of look out of the corner of my eye and I see something white down there and I look and there's a big seagull <laughs> and before I can do anything he eats the bait with the hook and I go oh no <laughs> I said, ah, like who likes seagulls? But you know, I don't want to, you know, don't want to kill an animal like that. Actually, I think seagulls are pretty, pretty striking animal at times. Different flavors of them, I guess. So <laughs> I try to pull it out because it's still in his beak. I can still see the bait, so you know he hadn't swallowed it yet. And so I, I wonder what to do. Off in the background there, the, the fisheries officers had just put their boat onto a trailer and taken it out. And here I am. I said, don't fly away, bird, don't fly away. Or, you know, they'd see me with a bird with on the reel. Play him, play him, son, play him. Anyway, so I thought, well, he hasn't swallowed it. I better pull really hard at this rod, and hopefully it'll come out of his mouth. And if it hooks into his tongue or something like that, if I have to, I should be able to get him in and uh, fight with him for a bit to get the hook out. Luckily, the bait and the hook uh, spit out there, or got jerked out there, yeah stupid old thing. He hung around for a little bit there. I ended up feeding the rest of the fish that I had for bait. I had fish in my uh, freezer that was uh, at least three years old so I took it down to use for bait. So I hope he appreciates that. I'll be down. There's a little bit of fog on the inside of my camera. Must be the hot. That is hot. Cheers again. coffee. I still got a half mug left, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I've uh, run out of things to talk about. So we'll take it from here. No plans for the weekend. Next weekend I'm going to my Aunt Debbie's. They have a corn boil every year. Which is corn boil, of course, but they have lots of other foods there. People bring fruits, so it's quite the, uh, uh, quite the food uh, effort anyway. I hope that spot of condensation doesn't ruin this whole thing. I hate to do it again, <laughs> but I will. Anyway, have yourself, <coughs> excuse me, have yourself a great Friday evening and a great weekend. Hopefully it's not raining where you're from and, uh, and hopefully it's comfortable out and you can do some great festivities with your friends and families because that's what weekends are for. And that's all for me. So Chris, out. Bye, Frank. Look at this big old toad, eh? <laughs> what an attractive bastard he is, eh? Let him go. Boing, 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 boing. Where are you going? Don't bite me now, Bo. Mmm, you smell like marijuana. Are you one of those grass eating toads? Here, easy, easy. I'll take you somewhere where you won't be in the way. Somewhere cool and dark. Like in here. Oh. <laughs> Run. You love me.